I have been an artist since I was a little girl. I, that was my identity. I was very, very fortunate. But um, unlike most of my other artist friends, I wasn't always scribbling in notebooks and working all the time. I, I dreaded the blank page. And um, it was a real stumbling block for a number of years until, interestingly enough, I began to work at Newsweek magazine. They still were uh, working out of a dark room then, and it was right on the same floor that where I worked, I was in the art department, and each week they threw out stacks and stacks and stacks of photos um, that from the previous issue. And I started to take them home. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with them. I thought maybe I would collage. And um, the way that I normally edit my work is on a table. I have stacks and stacks of images, and I just stand and, you know, left, right, left, right, which is the best. I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just put up all the images and really sit down and treat myself and, and look at things that way? So I started to pin things up, and I filled an entire wall. And when I was done, I thought, Yep, this is art, you know, <laughs> keep going. And this large uh, montage behind me is called Birds and Flowers. I had always assumed that I would want one single image this size, but instead it was fascinating to have multiple images. So many of these images come from very generic sources. The birds came from books on identifying birds, identifying bird diseases. The flowers were flower arranging, how to lay out uh, gardens. And I also work with a wonderful printer. I've worked with him for close to 30 years. His name is Chuck Kelton. And uh, we, we did a lot of tests to see how did we want this to look. Uh, previous works had been um, very high contrast, almost graphic, and it kind of surprised me and delighted me that this was more pearlescent and, and a flatter, grayer um, look. And it's, and it's all um, a learning curve for me because I really, I didn't study photography, so it's all exciting, the, the many things that photography can do and the many things that a, a copier can do, which is like a mini darkroom in a sense. You know, I've talked a bit about how I do my work, but it really is technique in the service of the emotion. That's what's very, very important to me and, and what I try to bring to the viewer.